MicroStation has many dimensioning tools. Additionally, a large number of dimension attributes defines the appearance of dimensions. The easiest way to set these dimension attributes is by using predefined dimension styles. Dimension elements placed with a dimension style are automatically updated if the dimension style is changed. A dimension can be associated to the element being dimensioned. If the element is then modified, the dimension automatically updates to reflect the change. You will find the dimensioning tools on the Annotate tab in the Dimensioning Ribbon group. In this lesson, you will learn Place Dimensions. Continuing in Annotating Designs.dgn, open the Ground Floor Plan model. First, we zoom in on a portion of the design. On the Annotate tab in the Dimensioning group, select the Dimension Element tool. This tool makes it very easy to dimension one element at a time, whether it is linear or circular. Expand the tool settings and set the following. Dimension Style, Millimeter Dimension. Alignment, View. Location, Automatic. Tool, Dimension Element. Annotation Scale, Enabled. Start Extension, Enabled, Plus Arrow. End Extension, Enabled, Plus Arrow. Association, Enabled. Select the right side of the wall behind the circular reception desk. Move the pointer to the right and place the dimension. Note that with the Dimension Element tool, you do not have to snap to the endpoints of the line. You can just select it anywhere. Which tools the Dimension Element offers depends on the type of element you select. Continuing with the Dimension Element tool, select the outer arc of the reception desk. Note that different tool icons are available now in the tool settings. Ensure Dimension Radius is selected in the Tool Settings and place the Radial Dimension. Currently, linear dimensions are placed horizontal or vertical, parallel to the view axis. If you want to place a dimension parallel to an oblique line, you have to change the Alignment Tool setting. On the Home tab in the Placement group, select Place Block, set the method to Rotated, and place a rotated block in the hole. Select the Dimension Element tool, and in the Tool Settings, set the alignment to True. Dimension both sides of the block. You will extend the wall behind the reception desk to see if the dimension indeed is updated. It should be as you enabled the Association tool settings before you place the dimension. On the Home tab in the Modify group, select Modify Element. Snap to the upper end of the wall and move the pointer upward to extend the wall and enter a data point. The dimension is automatically updated. Using the Dimension Linear tool, you can place multiple linear dimensions in line, chained, or stacked. Zoom into the corridor of the bottom of the floor plan. On the Annotate tab in the Dimensioning group, select the Dimension Linear tool. In the Tool Settings, set the alignment to View and select the first of the three tool icons, Linear Size. Snap to the point where the dimension should start and data point. 
snap to the next dimension point. The third point defines the location of the dimension line. Data point to set the dimension line. Snap to the next dimension points until the dimension is complete, then press reset. Here's a hint. The other two icons in the tool settings, linear stacked and linear single, let you dimension the linear distance from an origin while placing the dimensions stacked or in line. An easy way to dimension an angle is as follows. On the Annotate tab in the Dimensioning group, select the Dimension Angular tool. In the tool settings, select the third tool, Angle Between Lines. Following the prompt, select the first line and then the second line. Finally, define the location of the dimension arc. In this lesson, you have learned how to place dimensions. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.